This is the Ash Creek open space in Fairfield County. Ash Creek is the tidal creek that served as Fairfield's main harbor since 1639 and it remained the main harbor in the area for over a hundred years until the neighboring Black Rock with its deeper waters became the main port. Some say Ash Creek got its name during the Revolutionary War when the British burned Fairfield to the ground and on that day, ashes from the burning town fell in these waters, choking them. But records dating to the 1750s refer to this as the Ash House Creek. And it seems that before the Revolutionary War, there was an ash pit here that was used in the manufacturing of soap. Whatever the origin of Ash Creek's name, I'm here today to visit these logs sticking out from the embankment. Visible only at a very low tide, most folks assume these logs are the remnants of an old wharf or the ribs of a sunken ship. But in fact, this is an old colonial road. Travel in colonial New England was tough. Most roads were little more than narrow paths. Carts and horses often sank in the low swampy passes. And the solution, the corduroy road, named for its resemblance to corduroy cloth. These logs are an old corduroy road. Corduroy roads were constructed by laying logs perpendicular to the road and then filling the spaces with sand. The ride was very bumpy and these roads required a lot of maintenance as the logs shifted, but it made low-lying marshy areas like this passable. There are very few colonial corduroy roads left in New England, and this is one of them. Storms and changes in water levels have left this section exposed. It was built around 1750 when Peter Penfield built two mills here to grind flour. Penfield's mills stood on either side of Ash Creek and used the changing tides as a power source. This road made the mills accessible through the low marshy lands. And now, back to Ash Creek. Seems that during the Revolutionary War, Fairfield was a hotbed of rebel activity. Patriot spies and privateers used these waters to harass British ships. And Penfield Mills provided bread for the Continental forces. Several barrels of bread were baked daily. On July 7, 1779, the British fleet arrived and they burned Fairfield to the ground, along with the Penfield Mills and its bakehouse. But sunk in the wet marshland, these old cedar logs escaped and remain even to this day, the old colonial corduroy road. Come to you.